How's it going friends? Reckless Yuki here. Hopefully you guys do fantastic. And in this video, I'd like to do a product review of the Creative EMU XM7 bookshelf speakers. And before we get into this review, there are two things I wanna to disclose to you guys. First thing is that I did not pay for these. The fine folks over at Creative were kind enough to send this unit out to me for review on my channel. So if there's anyone watching from Creative, thank you very much, I do greatly appreciate it. And the second thing I'll let you guys know is that even though I'm an audio enthusiast, I like having nice audio things such as audio interfaces, microphones, headphones, headsets, and anything to do with gaming audio. When it comes to speakers, I'm actually a speaker novice or a speaker new. My level of knowledge when it comes to speakers is actually quite low. And I think that's more to do with the kind of lack of devices I've owned in the past. And the set of speakers that these replaced was a set of Bose Companion 3s that I bought back in 2009. And when I bought those, I didn't really know much about anything. So I purchased those just thinking that their bows are gonna be quality and they were quality compared to my laptop speakers that those replaced. But when I hooked these up to my Creative X7, I felt that these were a far superior listening quality than that of my old Bose setup. Now, with the exception of bass, the Bose setup has a dedicated subwoofer where these do not have a subwoofer, so that's to be expected. But as far as any other frequency range, these sound phenomenally better than my Bose setup. And I'm actually quite pleased with these. And I think these are just an outstanding set of speakers. But when it comes to actually listening to something, when I really wanna to listen to something in detail, I always go for my cans, which are a set of Philips Fidelio X2s. But whenever I'm sitting here casually watching YouTube videos, movies, animes, or just playing games that doesn't really, really require any audio cues, I always go for the speakers and I enjoy listening to basically anything that I just listed with speakers. And I have to say that my enjoyment of those things have increased since receiving these speakers itself. These definitely have a better immersion quality than my old setup. And these are specifically made for the Creative X7, which is a device I received from Creative about maybe, I guess, three or four months ago. And I have to say, I did a review on it, and in the review, I said I absolutely love the device, and that has not changed. I really do love the X7. If you're interested in watching that review, it will be in the description below. But when it comes to these speakers, I received these speakers about two months ago, and I was really hesitant to do this review because of the fact that I'm not very well versed in speakers, and I made sure that I listened to these for a while to make sure that they're completely broken in before I gave my opinions on these. And I have to say that I do love these speakers because especially with the X7, these were made specifically for it, and the X7 has a specific profile you could select for the X7 speakers so that you can ensure that these were optimized for that device and these hook up directly to the device with a provided speaker cable so you don't really need very much and these are a set of passive speakers so these are powered by the X7 or whatever device you have to power these so these aren't like my Bose Companion 3s which had a uh, like a power supply built into it where you plug it in the wall these need to be powered by something externally and these take 60 watts and 6 ohms so if you do have an X7 you want to set it to 8 ohms on the back there's a little switch and then that will be enough to power these and you'll get full volume and full quality out of these speakers and if we take out this mesh front here which is basically just held on with these like little rubber garments we are exposed to the five inch woofer and the one inch tweeter. And if we go on to the back, we have the port and then the connections for the speaker wires. And that to say that the quality of this is actually quite impressive. Like it's solid wood is what it feels like. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And it's definitely <laughs> has some heft to it. And it definitely has like a large footprint. As you see, like my hands spread out is basically like what this device is. So you need to make sure you have plenty of desk space or wherever you have to kind of set this up, make sure there's plenty of room to put this before purchasing it. And as far as the price of this unit, it is MSRP at $250, but I found it on the creative website for $150. It's definitely gone down in price. And I remember during the holidays, this was down all the way to $100. So if you're lucky enough to pick these up for $100, uh, that is just fantastic. I think it's well worth $100. When it comes to $250, though, $250 is kind of pushing the price limit and it depends on who you are and how much you're willing to spend now i think these are fantastic and phenomenal so if you already have an x7 for your uh, digital analog converter i would say that these are a very wise investment to pair with that device because i think these just sound amazing um, but 
when it comes to speakers, I know that there's a lot of people out there that would possibly prefer to build their own speakers. And I know that there's speakers out there like basically kits you could buy for about $100 where you could purchase the kit and build a superior speaker to that of uh, most of the things that you'll find on the shelves at the local brick and mortar stores. So those are an option if you're kind of a handy person that you like to do things yourself. But if you wanna just buy an all-in-one already assembled unit, then I think these are great, especially when these were going for $100, like you couldn't beat these speakers. I think these were like one of the better buys of the holidays for when it comes to audio. So anyways, that's just basically my quick rundown of this speaker and of this product, and I just can't kind of glow enough about this. I really do love these. And uh, that's basically it for the video. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I definitely love hearing back from you guys. And if you have any recommendations of things you want me to look at, definitely let me know. I'll try to have a look into it and possibly bring you videos in the near future. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.